Hey guys, Juming here. Today I'll be reviewing my entire Beatles CD collection. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll be doing this chronologically, starting with the Beatles debut album, Please Please Me. So this is such an amazing debut album, released in the year 1963. It has a lot, a lot of great songs. And I heard that this album was essentially recorded live with very few overdubs or edits, and I just think that's amazing. Great songs on here include I Saw Her Standing There, and I Go To Him, Please Please Me, the title track, Love Me Do, P.S. I Love You, Do You Want to Know a Secret, a Taste of Honey, and lastly, Twist and Shout. This is um, a 1987 release on CD, and this is a mono release. So that is the booklet for the CD. Includes a little preview of the band. Um, a track listing, a pretty long script write, written by Tony Barrow, and that's about it for Please Please Me, such a amazing debut album. Moving on to the Beatles' second album, With the Beatles, and this didn't get as much positive attention as they got as for Please Please Me, and don't get me wrong, this is an amazing album, released in the same year as Please Please Me. And great songs include It Won't Be Long, All My Loving, Don't Bother Me, which is the first Harrison song to be featured on a Beatles album. Little Child, Till There Was You, Please Mr. Postman, Roll Over Beethoven, Hold Me Tight, and Money. As the CD, also released in mono in 1987. So the booklet is very much similar to the Please Please Me booklet. Um, a little preview of the Beatles. John, um, a pretty long track listing, George, more information, more information with Paul, and the entire script written by Tony Barrow. Lastly on the back, there's Ringo. Such a great album, in my opinion, really underrated, and it should definitely get more attention. So yeah, with the Beatles. Moving on to their first soundtrack album, A Hard Day's Night. This is also the first album to release all originals. Unfortunately, I didn't get this one as a original like I did with uh, with the Beatles and Please Please Me. This is a 2009 stereo remaster from the stereo box set. Um, great songs on here include A Hard Day's Night, and I Love Her, Can't Buy Me Love, I Should Have Known Better, and uh, I'll Cry Instead. Very, very good songs, and this is a different kind of package, not in a jewel case. Comes with this very nice looking CD. It does also contain a Hard Day's Night mini documentary, which, which is really cool. And it does come with this flap. And this thicker booklet, which I like a lot. Very nice. I really like the 2009 stereo reprints of the original Beatles albums and they should continue that but unfortunately they did not make a new reprint box which it would be cool if they did but you know that's what they did so you know you can't really complain a hard day's night moving on to Beatles for sale this is also from the same stereo box set and there are plenty of great songs released in the year 1964 and great songs include No Reply, I'm a Loser, Babies in Black, Rock and Roll Music, I'll Follow the Sun, actually my favorite song off this album, um, Eight Days a Week, and What You're Doing. Comes with um, a similar like trifold, that's the CD, almost identical to the Hard Day's Night one, except like besides the text, it is almost identical. Comes with the same thick booklet from the 2009 Stereo Remasters, and I absolutely love those. The paper is also very nice quality, and yeah, Beatles for sale. Moving on to the Beatles' second soundtrack album, The Beatles' Help. This is also their first album to be released in stereo or orig originally on CD. So this album is released in 1965 and great songs on here include Help, The Night Before, You Got to Hide Your Love Away, I Need You, A Ticket to Ride, Act Naturally, You Like Me Too Much, I've Just Seen a Face, and Yesterday. There are seven, there are seven songs that are 
released from the film and seven more songs that are added onto this album. That is the CD originally released in 1987. And that is the booklet. So you can see a track listing, John, Paul, George, and lastly, Ringo. If not third, my fourth favorite Beatles album. Beatles Help. Moving on to one of my favorite Beatles albums, Rubber Soul. As I said before, this is my favorite Beatles album, but if you read my description for my YouTube, like my YouTube page, I actually said the White Album is actually my favorite album now, and it took over Rubber Soul. However, Rubber Soul didn't like go down by that much. It is still my second favorite and I can I can tell you why because there are so many great songs on here like Drive My Car, Norwegian Woods, Nowhere Man, uh, Think for Yourself, Michelle, What Goes On, Girl, I'm Looking Through You, In My Life, and this is released in 1965. That is the CD released in 1987, and that is the booklet. It's just a very simple booklet, and yeah. Rubber Soul, definitely check this album out. It is amazing. Moving on to many would say Beatles' greatest album, Revolver. This is released in the year 1966, and great songs on here include Taxman, Eleanor Rigby, I'm Only Sleeping, Love You Too, Here, There, and Everywhere, Yellow Submarine, Good Day Sunshine, and Your Bird Can Sing, For No One, and Tomorrow Never Knows. That is a lot of great songs, so that's why many people, like, enjoy this album a lot. However, I don't like this as much as the other Beatles albums. If you've seen my Beatles ranking all the studio albums one, you would have seen I put this in like second last place, so I just don't really enjoy it that much. But it's still a very good album and musically it just it's just amazing. It's a very good album. I don't hate an album, I just don't really like it. That's there's a difference. So yeah. Nice booklet. Beatles Revolver. Moving on to one of the most greatest albums of all time, actually, Beatles Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. So this is released in 1967, and this album, the CD, is released exactly 20 years from its release date on vinyl. Um, if you haven't noticed already, all the original CDs I reviewed, like Revolver, Rubber Soul Help, um, With the Beatles, and Please Please Me, those are all released in 1987. But they are timed specifically so that Sgt. Pepper's could land exactly 20 years from its original release date, which is really cool. And it does have plenty of great songs on here, including Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, the title track, For a Little Help from My Friends, Lucy in the Sky of Diamonds, She's Leaving Home, um, Within You, Without You, a Harrison song, very nice Harrison song, When I'm 64, and A Day in the Life. That is the CD. And the booklet is very thick, and it's very, very nice. One of my favorite Beatles booklets. And, yeah. Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Moving on to one 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 of um one of Beatles more underrated albums, Magical Mystery Tour. I honestly really like this album and it is definitely like in my top five best Beatles albums there there is and yeah, very good songs off here like Magical Mystery Tour, The Fool on the Hill, Blue Jay Way, Your Mother Should Know, I Am the Walrus, Hello Goodbye, Strawberry Fields Forever, Penny Lane, ba Baby You're a Rich Man and All You Need Is Love. Like, there's not a bad song here, as I said before. I only left out Flying. Just because Flying, many people don't really like it. I kind of like it, but it's just not that that great of a song. But it still, still has some potential on this album. Released in the year 1967, and also a 1987 CD. So the booklet does include a little script from the show. And um, a little illustration of it which seems to be the Beatles in kind of red uh 
it's hard to tell, but it's um, it's kind of weird. They're holding hands, definitely. It's like they're casting a magic spell or something. And it's pretty cool. It does contain all the lyrics from the show songs, which this is actually a soundtrack album. And yeah. Very nice. Beatles Magical Mystery Tour. Moving on to my current favorite Beatles album, Beatles The White Album. It does contain two discs. Where we'll be talking about the first disc. So this album is released in 1968. And many call it the self-titled record or the White Album. And it there has there's many, many, many great songs on here, including Back in the USSR, Dear Prudence, Glass Onion, Obla Di Obla Da, um, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, Happiness is a Warm Gun, Martha My Dear, Blackbird, Piggies, Rocky Raccoon, Don't Pass Me By, I Will, and Julia. There's so many great songs off here. That's why it's my favorite album of all time, actually. Not just by the Beatles. And yeah. Honestly, like the first disc better than the second disc. Just because there's more of more classic songs. And there's also more songs, which I like better. You know, the more, the better. This is also my favorite booklet of all time in music history. Just because it includes a lot of the photos from that time and all the lyrics of the songs. Now looking at the second disc, disc, and great songs on here include Mother Nature's song, Son, um, Everybody's Got Something to Hide Except for Me and My Monkey, Sexy Sadie, Helder Skelter, Long Long Long, Revolution One, Honey Pie, Savoy Truff, Safoy Truffle, or something like that, Cry Baby Cry, one of my favorite songs, Good Night is also very nice. Good Night's actually sang by Ringo, but the original version from, like, John wrote the original version, and he sang it to his song. I heard that was way better, but I haven't heard that version yet, but I should hear that version and try to compare these two versions, see which one is better. And, so yeah, that is the second CD. The booklet. The booklet is just very short, but still very simplistic, and I like the design. It's just so cool to have an album without like a name on it. So yeah, moving on to pretty famous Beatles album, Abbey Road. This is one of the most influential albums of all time. And you know, you can see many shirts that have this album on it or just um, this, this album as a vinyl sold a lot of, in a lot of places and people put these in frames and hang it on the wall. It's just very influential overall and you can't really go wrong with this album. It's such an amazing album, released in 1969, and great songs include Come Together, Something, um, Octopus's Garden, I Want You, She's So Heavy, Here Comes the Sun, very good song, You Never Give Me Your Money, um, uh, Me and Mr. Mustard, also pretty nice, Golden Slumbers, Carried That Way, The End, and Her Majesty is also a very good song. Very short, Her Majesty, I think it was like a 26 second song or something like that. As the CD released in 1987, and this booklet is pretty plain. There's not that much information in there. It's kind of like the back of the wall or something like that. And yeah, that's the back of the booklet. Yeah, the Beatles, Abbey Road. Moving on to the last Beatles to the album, Let It Be. So this is also a recent recent album I got on CD and it's such a amazing album. It is it is just it is just um I'm just liking it way more whenever I listen to it. So now this is probably my like fifth or sixth favorite Beatles album. And yeah, released in the year 1970 and it does have a lot of like previously unreleased material that they they decided to put together and make an album so part of the album are live and half the other half is probably like studio which is really cool two of us amazing song dig a pony one of my favorites across the universe such a beautiful song dig it is actually really cool because it's like john singing random stuff like a rolling stone and like um like the bbc and then bb king and then there's last phrase the last part of the song has a little phrase that that leads into Let It Be. And that transition is absolutely just just amazing. There's nothing nothing that much to say about it. It's very cool. It's amazing. And 
I've Got a Feeling, very nice song. The Long and Winding Road, hands down my favorite song of this album, No Questions Asked. Get Back, also amazing. It is diff different from the single version. The single version they had edited a little bit. And so yeah. That is the CD, a 1987 original version of the CD. That's the booklet. Let It Be is actually not a very like easy album to find as a original 1987 pressing on CD. So I'm very thankful that I got this album original. And yeah, Let It Be. Moving on to some of the compilations and other stuff I got for the Beatles. Starting with the Beatles Past Masters Volume 1. So I do have Volume 2 which we'll get to in a second. I'll just be reviewing Volume 1 first. This is released in 1988. After all the studio albums have been released, they released this one. So, great songs. These are all great songs. Like, Love Me Do is a different version. It's the single version from Me To You. Thank You Girl, She Loves You, uh, I Wanna Hold Your Hand, Long Tall Sally, I Feel Fine, uh, Mac Matchbox, and also Bad Boy is also a very good song. It does have coding on the CD, and the booklet, it does include some, you know, some, some information about the songs, like the B-sides and the A-sides of the songs, some nice photos, some more information, and some more information, and a peek at the Past Masters Volume 2, which we'll get to in about now. So this is Past Masters Volume 2, and this is also... Probably my my more favorite album out of, you know, Past Masters, um, Volume 1 and Volume 2, just because it has a lot of the bigger hits, like Day Tripper, We Can Work It Out, Paperback Rider, Lady Madonna, Hey Jude, a very big hit, Revolution, Get Back, as I said before, Get Back, this is a different version, they kind of edited out the beginning of the song and the ending of the song to make it more like, um, like a studio recorded track rather than a live recorded track. So yeah, Don't Let Me Down, very nice song. The Ballad of John and Yoko, Old Brown Shoes, Across the Universe, is, which is actually different from the album version. This is the Wildlife Association version, I think. There's like, um, there's like bird sounds in the beginning of the song, which is cool. And Let It Be is also different. That's the single version. And lastly, it ends, up, ends with You Know My Name, Look Up My Number, which is actually um, very, very cool. The song's very cool, but it's just not my favorite song, you know. This was also released in 1988, and it's just very cool. So, as as I said before, look, looking at the other CD, which actually has black color, coloring, I assume that this, this, uh, you know, this has a white cover. I assumed it should have a white CD, but it did not, so... I'm not disappointed, I just it's, just, it's just not what I expected, so yeah. Some information about the songs, some photos, some more information about the songs, and a peek at Past Masters Volume 1. Yeah, Past Masters Volume 2. Moving on to the Beatles Live at the BBC. This is a double album, and, and this is, um really cool because it has so much tracks in here not all these tracks are songs some are speeches and some are just like interviews and it contains 69 tracks that's like a whole lot of songs and um you know it's just uh it is not really like a collective it's just um like a collection piece not really really like a piece of music to listen to that much because a lot of these songs are not recorded with the best analog recording like system, if I had to say, and it's it's just not like the best quality sound. If you're if you're looking for better quality, then you have to check out like this the Beatles studio recorded stuff because that is way better. This is released in the year 1994, and that is the first CD, and it does come with the second CD like that. And the booklet is very thick. I really like the booklet. And uh, I'll just flip through it because it inc includes like, again, like this page. We yeah, had this page like Honey Dill and Love Me Do. There's some information. That's about it. 
very thick booklet and I'm very fortunate to get this for only three dollars it was on clearance and yeah the Beatles live at the BBC moving on to the red and blue album so these are both double albums we're gonna start with the red album which is 1962 to 1966 so this is a compilation album just from 1962 to 1966 that era of all all of Beatles' greatest songs from that era. So, it, there's not a bad song. So just look at the track listing, and I'll just, you can pause the video if you like, and I'll, you can just see the track listing. There's nothing that much to, to review about this, because it's just, all of these are very classic songs. I do like the booklet, however. It doesn't include all the lyrics for the songs, and some cool, cool photos in there. So that is the Red Album. Moving on to the Blue Album, which is 1967 to 1970. So this has a lot of Beatles later stuff. Even the photo, photo is very similar to the other one. But it's just like a different time period. This is this photo is taken from 1969, and I believe this one is taken in 1963. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong with that. And you can take a look at this track listing. Pause the screen if you like. Like, very, very good songs. These both are released in 1993. And that is the first, that is the first CD and that was the second CD. And the booklet also includes all the lyrics. And if you see, the, these booklets have a very cool thing about them. So, if you look at the front, they're, they're different. But if you turn the blue one around, it does have the same photo as this one. But if you turn this one around, it does have the same photo as the front cover of the blue album. So I thought that was really cool how they did that. It's kind of like a, kind of like a memory. It's a piece of a piece of history or something like that. So that's really cool. Moving on to the Beatles' "Yellow Submarine" song track. A lot of you guys are like, "Why didn't you put this in your like album review, or why didn't you put this with your albums?" But, but for real, this is not an actual album. This is more of a compilation. And the Beatles' Yellow Submarine album is a little different from this. This has a lot of uh, great songs stretching from like 1965 to um, 1967, I believe. So from that era. And also like songs from the Yellow Submarine soundtrack. Yeah. Released in the year 1999. And those are all the songs. Songs that are included in the Yellow Submarine soundtrack include like Yellow Submarine, Hey Bulldog, um, All Together Now, uh, Only a Northern Song, It's All Too Much, and All You Need Is Love. As the CD, very colorful, I really like the design of the CD. Need to get this booklet out. There we go. Very nice, like, illustrations. Yeah. Very cool. This is a very nice, like, compilation album. Does include a lot of great songs on here. So yeah, Beatles, Yellow Submarine soundtrack. Moving on to the Beatles 1, a collection of all the Beatles' number one singles. So, yeah, this is released in the year 2000, and it contains 27 of the Beatles' number one singles. There's so many great singles on here. You can pause the screen and read all of them. And, yeah. That's a CD. And the booklet, however, I really like this because it includes a lot of, you know, the, the singles front covers, you know, the front covers of the singles that are number one singles. So yeah, I'm just going to flip through it real quick. Yeah, that is really cool how they did that. And just back there, very, very solid album. Many would say the Beatles' best compilation. Moving on to Beatles' Love. This is not really a Beatles... Uh, compilation at all. This is a lot of the Beatles songs that are um, kind of changed and edited with um, a lot of equipment and then they added some new music in it. It's just not really like a Beatles piece of music. There are a lot of 
songs that are like very different from the original song. Like, but my well, some of my favorites include like uh, "While My Guitar Gently Weeps." If you hear this version for the first time, you you think to yourself, it is like almost the exact same as the Anthology Three version. But if you listen to it a little more, you'll hear violin in the background. So it's a little different from any version the Beatles has released. And many people don't really like this because many people think the Beatles did not intend this album to be released. But um, I really like this album and that's all that really matters with me. So yeah, it comes with a audio DVD and also comes with a CD. It comes with a very thick booklet also. This booklet is made with really nice paper and flipping through it there's also like you know these these pictures if you look very closely it's actually thousands and thousands of small photos into this gigantic photo right here and i i really like how they did that and that's really creative of them so this is just a very colorful album overall you know the the design and all the music are just all very colorful. So that is all the CD I have for you today. And hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day, kiddos. Bye.